Australian killings. How does it feel to cement your legacy here at UCF? It's awesome, uh, simply because to know where UCF has come from. Um, when I got here in 2016 and the year before that, when they went 0-12, and, and each year we, we just plan on getting better and better day in and day out. And the coaches are doing a great job of bringing great guys and um, good character guys and good players to, to keep the legacy going and um, so that we can keep, keep winning, uh, you know. But um, to the point that you made about the rushing record, um, it, it doesn't just start with me. It starts with the O line. So without the O line, I can't, I can't get those accolades and whatnot. And anybody on the team can't get those, those high statuses and whatnot. So um, we can only go as far as the O line take us, and we we're going to go pretty darn far this year because the O line is very stout. Okay, we talked about in the preseason about how deep this running back group was, and, and you know we got to see some of that tonight with all you guys being able to rotate in and rotate out. Was that when you, when you see some of the guys like um, Bontavious and Trillin, what does that say, say for you guys about in that group just to have that kind of depth and to see that kind of talent around you? It just lets you know that the the train is going to keep moving, um, and the future here is bright because, um, like you said, we have Trillin, Coles, and Tavia Thompson. Um, and Demir is good, the freshman that enrolled. We, we got a lot of we got a lot of people that can do a lot of things. So our running back core room, um, I feel like we're the closest group on the team, um, and we just want to see each other succeed. And tonight, um, Batavia's got in and made made a couple big plays, and Trey and Cole did the same thing. So um, any coach can put any player in at any any given time. If it's seven seven and we need a touchdown, the coaches are very confident to put any any player in. And, um, at running back position, uh, we're very, we're very athletic. We do a lot of things, and the coaches depend on us a lot to protect the quarterback and make big runs. Hey, Kay, when you walked in the room, you, you kind of made a reaction, noticing that some stuff was new. Uh, did you have that same reaction when uh, Dylan hit off uh, uh, Otis for that touchdown? I didn't have that same reaction because when Dylan enrolled in here during the spring, and we had our first spring practice, and the practices throughout spring, he looked at like a baller that he did tonight. He, he's been. He's been dreaming about these nights. Um, he's currently my roommate now. So we talk a lot, talk a lot of football, and we talk about the things that he want to do and the things he look forward to do. So the things he did tonight is just the beginning for him, and the sky's the limit. And it's going to be a lot of big, more big plays made from him this coming season. And the coaches are doing a great job in preparing, and he's doing also a great job preparing himself for, for games like this. So the sky's the limit for Dylan. Hey, Gabe, just your thoughts on Brandon Moore and what happened to him. Hey, what do you feel about him? And then also, how did that injury change the way you guys celebrate after the game? Uh, the injury to Brandon Moore, um, it hurt us. But at the same time, um, well, we're going to keep him in our prayers. And we have a great athletic training staff here. Ms. Mary and Ed and all, all the people within our athletic training room, they do a great job of taking up, take care of take care of us day in and day out. Um, and, they, they, they keep our body up to the part, and they also do a great job of just making sure everyone is healthy for, for every game. But um, the, the injury status on him, I'm, I'm going to leave that to Coach Hype, and we're just going to keep preparing and keep moving on to the next, and he's in our prayers. Did it change anything as how you guys celebrate? I mean, there's a different atmosphere in there? Because of the oh, most definitely. Um, there's a lot of guys um, crying. I cry myself, but at the same time, we, we, God has a plan for everything, and he's going to be in good hands with, um, within the staff here. AK, you mentioned uh, Dylan was your roommate now. You've become close with him. What was he like tonight? Was he excited when he connected on those touchdowns? Or what was he like on the uh, sideline? He didn't show the excitement physically, but in the inside, I know he was probably boiling. He, he couldn't wait to get his shot tonight. The coaches told him that he was going to get in this series and he will be running this certain play and whatnot. But he didn't show it physically, the excitement. He's trying to keep his composure. He did a great job with that. But I know he was boiling on the inside. And, um, he, he made he put a name out there for himself. Um, he lived up to the hype that the the people that were saying how good he is and whatnot. But he, he's going to be getting even better day in and day out. The coaches here, Coach Levy, Coach Hype, and Mitch Melatello, they do a great job of preparing the quarterbacks for for no matter if they're playing FAMU, Stanford, or anybody. But Dylan did a great job tonight. So did Brandon Wimbush. Hey, Kay, 
Adrian, uh, Jordan Johnson said that Dylan kind of reminded him of uh, McKenzie when he was a freshman. Is that kind of a fair assessment there? Most definitely. Um, they're both from Hawaii, but at the same time, they, they both have their similarity and differences, but they, they're both capable of taking this team where we need to go, and so is Brandon Winbush. Um, we got a lot of lethal quarterbacks in the room that can lead this team to, to greatness. And Brandon Winbush, whoever, if it's Brandon Winbush, Dylan Gabriel, Quadri Jones, um, Hayden Kingston, DJ Mack, anybody they put in there, they're going to be up to par because each quarterback in that room prepared like they're going to be starting for the game. So you know, no matter who's in, we're very confident they'll get the job done. Two more. Hey, Katie, it looked like Otis was everywhere on the field tonight, not just returning kicks, uh, but he also rushing the ball and, and uh, taking as a receiver. What, how important is his presence on the field for you guys and the offense? His presence is vital simply because he can do a lot of things. Um, if he's not in the backfield, he's in the slot. If he's not in the slot, he's probably outside or something like that. And like he says, he played a tremendous role in special teams tonight. Um, he's that Swiss knife army guy for us. and. And you always gotta keep a lookout for him on the field simply because he, he can do a lot of great things. And the coaches here put a lot of players in position to be successful and make big plays. And the big plays he made tonight, he's gonna be making all season. And everyone here just likes to have fun and play football. That's what we're here for. And Otis, whatever the coaches tell him to do, he's willing to do it. And that's about every player on this team. Hey, kid, a minor distraction out there in the Atlantic right now is Dorian. I mean, do you guys have any plans? Do you guys talk to the football team? how to prepare for the hurricane, what the game plan is this weekend, and when to start the next week? The coaches have not um, discussed the plans with us uh, regarding the hurricane, but uh, since I've been here since 2016, we had a we had a lot of hurricanes hit us and games canceled and whatnot, but um, the university um, here at UCF and also Danny White and Coach Hype, they're all um, safety first about the players and also the, the coaches' family here as well. So um, the plan that they have, for us, I'm pretty sure it's strategic, and they're trying to make sure everyone is um, safe and whatever the coaches tell us to do, um, we, we're trusting in them to keep everyone safe. To piggyback off that, you're a Florida guy, you've been through kind of it all up here. Are any of the other guys a little weary about what to expect for this hurricane, or did we know? Uh, I'm not sure. No one, no one has talked about the hurricane or whatnot, but um, it's nature. You gotta let nature play its toll, and um, <laughs> we'll, we'll be just fine. God, God has a plan, we'll be all right. Thank you. Let's go back to the